What's going on guys, Bob Busker here at Think Computers and today we're checking out a really cool product from Lee & Lee. This is their PCT80 test bench. So let's go ahead and take a look. So taking a first look at the test bench, one thing that I do want to point out is that you do need to assemble this. So it took me about maybe about a half an hour going through the instructions, which are pretty good. They're not the best instructions, but if you kind of built anything really, you can kind of follow the instructions and get everything built here. So you, you will have to build this. It comes in a small box with all the pieces and you have to go ahead and put it together. But once together, it will go ahead and look like this. Um, it's all brushed aluminum, it's very light. It, uh, you know, you can pick it up quite easily. I mean, even if you had a system in here, you could easily pick it up. Um, I went, went out and bought the black version, but it also comes in a silver version as well. Of course, knowing Lee and Lee, this is kind of their kind of go-to colors are black and silver. I'm gonna go over the test bench sort of piece by piece or layer by layer to give you an idea of what you can really fit in here and how it's all designed. So at the top, we have this multi-function tray. It can actually hold cooling as well as hard drive. So as far as hard drive goes, you can fit three three and a half inch hard drives or three two and a half inch hard drives up top. I know it's kind of weird up top, but you do have that option there. Also, you have cooling as well. So you can do three 120 millimeter fans and then that also opens up the uh, area for radiators as well. So you can do up to a 360 millimeter radiator up top. Moving down, we have the motherboard tray, and this test bench actually supports motherboards up to XL8TX. It's one of the only test benches that actually supports motherboards of that size. So it's really great to see Lee and Lee go ahead and do that. We have cutouts all around here for cable routing, and all of these cutouts actually have rubber, or not rubber, uh, plastic all around. So what that's gonna do is gonna help so you don't rip or tear your cables. We do have a large CPU cutout as well, um, and actually under this, which you can't see, um, we'll go into it in our full review, but there's another sort of hard drive uh, mounting system up here, and you can fit three 2.5 inch hard drives along that top edge um, right here. Again, we'll go into that in our full review. Also at the front here, we have our power and um, looks like that's about it. We just have a power button right here and um, that will go ahead and light up. And then there's an optional accessory that will give you USB ports and all of your front audio and all of that up here. But that is of course optional. One really cool thing about this as well as the top uh, part here in this part, they can be sort of lifted up and taken out, which is really great because again, if you're using this as a test bench, you're pulling hardware, hardware all of the time, you're pulling cooling, you're doing certain things. So you wanna be able to lift these out and you can go ahead and do that. At the bottom of the case, we have another hard drive storage area or hard drive cage. This hard drive cage actually supports three 3.5 inch hard drives. And then actually on the top of it right here, you can actually install another 2.5 inch hard drive. So again, a lot of room in here for actual hard drive space. And then over here, um, you can kind of see back there our power supply bracket. Of course, you can fit power supplies in here. And the way we have it set up, of course, is our power supply is gonna be facing out the back with our cable coming up so we can route them to all of our components. So this wraps up our quick little overview of the Lee and Lee PCT80 test bench. Now make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review. And that will not only include installation of all of our hardware inside of this, it will all actually cover um, our assembly as well. Because remember, this doesn't come pre-assembled. You have to actually put it together yourself. So our full review will have all of that. Um, so check back very soon for that. And remember guys, if you enjoy our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.